Okay, welcome back everybody. Quick update on another uh, project to kind of put the uh, book in on a video uh, that I had done a, a week or two ago. Uh, and it was in regards to the uh, Vetterly rifle. So we have purchased a, um, it was a spontaneous purchase of a Vetterly 6.5 Carcano rifle. And um, we bought it without really understanding that they're not really shootable. So that kind of violates the premise of the uh, working reference collection of the John 1911 Armory. So uh, we weren't really positive if it was shootable, and so we put it out to people more knowledgeable than us. And thanks to uh, the viewers, uh, you put us in contact with uh, Mark Novak uh, down there at Anvil uh, Gunsmith. He has the Anvil series on YouTube, and most of you, most people that watch this would probably know who that is. I mean, you know, you're not going to know who I am, but you know who that guy is. Anyway, he rolled in, and he basically said... Um, those guns are not safe to shoot. They blew up a couple of them. And if I recall correctly, the chief reason being that the, uh, the, 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 the very generous feed ramp. And so the case isn't supported, so they probably let go that way. So uh, we haven't officially checked the, uh, checked the uh, case on it yet I'll, um, or the chamber on it yet. I'll go ahead and, you know, throw that in. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll show, hold it up here in a second. But in the meantime... I was able to find another 6.5 Carcano rifle. Now, I have seen uh, Carcano rifles for sale for a long time. I mean, everyone's kind of familiar with some of the Carcano and 6.5 Carcano in American history that I don't want to revisit here in that tragic day. However, um, I also have another policy. I do get tired of, uh, those of you who know that I get tired of black guns. Um, when it comes to military surplus guns, if I can avoid it, I don't buy carbines. I always try to buy rifles. And why is that? Well, funny you should ask. Being a working reference collection, we tend to shoot our guns. A lot of these older military surplus rifles, say pre-1950, tend to be in full power battle rifle calibers. So when you chop those down really short and you want to go shoot them, they tend to thump a little bit. And I don't think that's that fun. So I always, if given a choice, I will always personally go for a rifle over a carbine. This is an 1891 Carcano, uh, was not converted to, uh, or what, I believe a lot of these carbines, I believe a lot of them were chopped down. Uh, this gun, if you are curious, because it's a topical in the military surplus community, this is a CAI Century Arms import. So this is not a, let's see, we see the import mark there. This is not a, um, this is not a, uh, a gun that came out of Ethiopia. And the barrel on this so far appears to be fantastic. So, uh, you know, we, uh, we were very happy with that. So if you want to see some of the markings and get them here on the, the, you know, let's, uh, what does it say on there? Uh, fat 42. So. Now, I'm fat 49, so I'll be fat 50 here soon. So, uh, you know, the young, a gun, younger version of me. So it's a joke, Mills, guys, relax. So um, we're not going to be shooting the, uh, the Vetterly rifle, but we eventually we will get around to shooting this gun. Um, it did come with a, uh, did come with a uh, cleaning rod or, a, you know, uh, what do you, you call it, a, a clearing rod. I call them cleaning rods. Some people call them clearing rods. And uh, the site seems to be seems to be correct, if I understand. I'm not really sure I understand what that cut in the stock is, and that makes me a little suspicious that maybe stuff isn't completely right on this gun. So if you know any uh, more about that, this has obviously got a straight charging handle, doesn't have a turn bolt. Uh, it does have the going. Talking about the thumper guns, it does have a steel butt plate, which you know is not that great to shoot, but. Again, the big gun soaks up the recoil. And I'm told 6.5 Carcano is a pussycat. So, um, oh, sling as well. I assume that is a original and correct sling for this gun. If it is not, please leave in the comments below. Um, the only thing that I have left to get is a bayonet because why not? I mean, if it's a part we can get for it, we're gonna get it. So, I mean, we're not gonna spend $1,000 on a bayonet, but you know, if we can get one that's reasonable for the value of the rifle, throw it on, put it up into the racks, why not? So, all right, well, that's where we're at with the uh, 6.5 Carcano, 1890, well, the 1891 Carcano, and um, 
If you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of anything we discussed, please go to our website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day. The Red Tagged Vetterly. It's not officially red tagged because we haven't actually checked it yet, but it's not looking good. People that we respect say these are a no-go to shoot, so mm, this could have been a mistake. It's probably going to end up displayed on a wall as opposed to in a rack, which is kind of how we do it. If the gun is up on a wall, it's non-shootable. If it's in a rack, it's shootable, so there you go.